Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? It seems that you didn't have any problems today to log in into the class. That's very, very good. And uh, well, it's nice to be here with you again. And uh, uh, just confirming, everybody has access already to the, to the platform, right? So no problem with the platform, I guess. Yes, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, uh, yesterday, I, I, I have problem with the platform. No, no pude estar en clases. Okay. Yeah, no problem. So if you are here tonight, that is very good. Uh, yeah, the problem is that yesterday we had some issues to, to log in into the Zoom class, but now I, I see that everybody is getting with the problem. So that is very good. I was just checking into that one. And uh, uh, I believe that everybody has the book already and everything that is related. So very, very good. Okay, and uh, yesterday we were speaking about uh, distribution. Do you remember what is distribution? Something that we discussed yesterday, so we can review. What is distribution? Does anybody remember? Okay, no problem, of course I can tell you again. So distribution is the activity in which we move a product from, let's say the factory where it's produced, service product to the store or to the customer itself. And, uh, <laughs> Do you remember the, the meaning of distribution channel? Anybody remember that? Distribution channel. Okay, of course, we can check into that again. Uh, these concepts are very important because we're going to take all the five weeks of the course, we're going to check that one. So the distribution channel, uh, well, the concept is quite similar to distribution. The difference is that in the distribution channel, we actually, we check about the steps that it takes for let's say a uh, product or service to go to the, to the customer, right? So also we were speaking about an example. So remind that uh, you have in your house uh, a Samsung TV, right? So, but of course the factory of, the, uh, of Samsung is in Korea. So there are many steps that we have to consider so the, the TV is there in the store, in, in a mall here in El Salvador. So they distribute, in mind this, they distribute TVs and many other devices uh, for all the world. I mean, they send TVs to, I don't know, to Argentina, to Colombia, to Mexico, to parts in Europe, uh, the United States, I mean, in mind the how how is the complex of the distribution channel for Samsung? I mean, it's something very very big, right? So they can distribute all the products in good quality and good condition, 
a very fast period of time. So, and of course that those uh, costs, those uh, things are paid by, by the customer, right? So when you pay for a product, you pay for everything. You pay for the marketing, they do the advertising, and also they pay for the logistics that they do. I mean, everything is calculated yeah. and put into that. Uh -huh. Okay, so we are reviewing some of the concepts that we had yesterday. So another thing that we were checking is retailer. Do you remember what is a retailer? Uh, maybe anybody can check in, on internet again so you can remember that one. What is a retailer? El ventas al detalle. Something like that one, right? So it's not the final one. It's not the the store where you uh, purchase the products, but it's like the ones that sell like bulk, right? And the other one that we were checking was wholesaler. Do you remember what is wholesaler? A wholesaler. Do you remember that? Maybe you can check also in internet on that one. So we remember the concept. Anybody can on internet, so you can tell me what a wholesaler is. Or maybe you can tell me an example on what do you think a wholesaler is. Okay, maybe uh, if you remember that we were discussing that there are some, there are some departments that or stores that they sell uh, a lot of products and services to the to the consumer. So, for example, one example on this one is Walmart. So, in Walmart, uh, they do not produce, they do not produce uh, any of the products that they sell. But if you go to Walmart or any supermarket, you will find there lots of products. And sometimes you can find complementary products or supplementary products. Teacher, for example, says distribution, distribution uh, the products. Yeah, actually something like that. They, what they do is that they have a space for them to to sell the product, but not only one product, they sell lots of products, right? So uh, Walmart is a very good example of a wholesaler. And uh, throughout the whole unit, we are going to check many other concepts or many other things that are important to check about, uh, well, logistics in general. Maybe it's not only logistics, but it's more about distribution. Uh, but it's the main topic, right? So by any chance, do you know any company here in El Salvador that they are like distributors or that their main business is uh, to distribute products or services for, uh, for the consumers? By any chance, do you, do you remember anything like that? For, uh, made in El Salvador. Okay. Is uh, super selected. Very good. Supermarkets are a very good example on this one. So uh, they are 
very nice. Any other example that you can remember or you can think of? Preun, Preun El Salvador. Very good. Uh, Freund. Actually, the pronunciation of that was Freund because it's from German. So that is a very good example. Any other example? I have another question for you. Do you remember or do you know by any chance what is a complementary product and a supplementary product? What might be that? Uh, EPA. Uh, uh, EPA, no, it's in uh, the Salvador. is Venezuela. Venezuela. Uh, yeah. But it's a very good example because they operate here in El Salvador, so that is yes. fine. Yes. Um... Okay, very good. Very nice. So this is a, like a review from yesterday's class. So by now we're going to check the attendance. Let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Good evening, I'm here. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. I'm here, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Present, teacher. Nice. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Good. Uh, we can hear you, but I see that you are. <laughs> All right, very good. So um, let me just go back here. Okay, so let me just okay. So we are going to start with a video and we're going to as usual we're going to check the video and then we're going to discuss what you understood about the video and uh, the uh, I mean uh, if you see some concepts or anything that got your attention. So this is in general logistics and is very related to, to the topic that we're checking. So let's go for it. Let me see if I can enable. Yeah, I guess, okay. Very good. All right, here we go, my friends. Logistics. It is defined as the art and science of obtaining, producing and distributing material and product in the proper place and in proper quantities. Logistics management. 
It is the part of supply chain management that plans, implements and controls the efficient, effective forward and reverse flow and storage of goods, services and related information between the point of origin and the point of consumption in order to meet customers' requirements. Difference between supply chain and logistics Transforming a raw material into products and getting it to customers is supply chain, whereas movement of materials in the supply chain is logistics. The seven R's of logistics. The most popular concepts of logistics management is the concept of the seven R's. It is concerned with getting the right product in the right quantity, in the right condition, at the right place, at the right time, to the right customer and at the right price. Logistics functions. Following the areas of logistics management contribute to an integrated approach to logistics within supply chain management. Transportation. Many modes of transportation play a role in the movement of goods through supply chains via air, rail, road, water or pipeline. Selecting the most efficient combination improves the value created for customers. Warehousing. When inventory is not on the move between locations, it may have to spend some time in a warehouse. Warehousing is the activities related to receiving, storing and shipping materials to and from production or distribution locations. Third and fourth party logistics. Third party logistics providers actually perform or manage one or more logistics services. Fourth party providers are logistics specialists and play the role of general contractor by taking over the entire logistics function for an organization. Reverse logistics. It is a way to handle the return, reuse, recycling or disposal of products that make the reverse journey from the customer to the supplier. Logistics value proposition. Managers must be able to balance logistics costs against the appropriate level of customer service. Logistics are usually managed as an integrated effort to achieve customer satisfaction at the lowest total cost. Therefore, service and cost minimization are two key elements in logistics value proposition. Logistics goals and strategies. Logistics shares the goal of supply chain management to meet customer requirements. There are a number of logistics goals that most experts agree on. Respond rapidly to changes in the market or customer orders. Minimize variances in logistics service. Minimize inventory to reduce costs. Consolidate product movement by grouping shipments. Maintain high quality and engage in continuous improvement. And support the entire product lifecycle and the reverse logistics supply chain. An effective logistics strategy depends on the following tactics. Coordinating functions, that is transportation management, integrating the supply chain, substituting information for inventory, reducing supply chain partners to an effective minimum number, and pooling risks. Substituting information for inventory. It is one of the tactics used to design effective logistics strategy. It requires taking a series of steps to construct the logistics network. Step 1. Locate in the right countries. First, identify all geographical locations and then analyze your forward and reverse chains to see if selecting different geographic locations could make the logistics function more efficient and effective. Step 2. Develop an effective export-import strategy. Determine the volume of freight and units that are imports and exports and decide where to place inventory for strategic advantage. Step 3. Select warehouse locations. Determine the number of warehouses, calculate optimal distance from markets and establish the most effective placement of warehouses around the world. Step 4. Select transportation modes and carriers. Determine the mix of transportation modes that will most efficiently connect suppliers, producers, warehouses, distributors and customers. Step 5. Select the right number of partners. Select the minimum number of firms, freight forwarders and third or fourth party logistics to manage forward and reverse logistics. 
Step 6. Develop state-of-the-art information systems. It reduces inventory costs by accurately and rapidly tracking demand information and the location of goods. Substituting information for inventory. It is another tactic used to design effective logistics strategy. Physical inventory can be replaced by better information in the following ways. Improve communications. Talk with suppliers regularly and discuss plans with them. Collaborate with suppliers. Use continuous improvement tools and share observations about trends. Track inventory precisely. It could be done by using GPS and barcode systems. Keep inventory in transit. It reduces inventory costs, for example, cross-docking. Use postponement centers. Avoid filling warehouses with the wrong mix of finished goods by setting up postponement centers to delay product assembly until an actual order has been received. Mix shipments to match customer needs. Match deliveries more precisely to customer needs by mixing different SKUs on the same pallet and by mixing pallets from different suppliers. And don't wait in line at customs. Reduce the time spent in customs by clearing freight while still on the water or in the air. Reducing supply chain partners to an effective number. The more partners there are in the chain, the more difficult and expensive the chain is to manage. Consider a supply chain of three echelons between factory and customers, two factory warehouses, nine wholesale warehouses, and 350 retail stores. Reducing the number of partners reduces operating costs, cycle time, and inventory holding costs. When consider reducing the logistic partners, look for an entire echelon, such as all the wholesale warehouses or factory warehouses. But if you eliminate all partners, you would be back to the vertical integration strategy. Pooling risks. When manufacturers and retailers experience high variability in demand for their products, they can pull together common inventory components associated with a broad family of products to buffer the overall burden of having to deploy inventory for each discrete product. This is called pooling risks. This reduces storage costs and risks of stockouts by consolidating stock in centralized warehouses. Flow of goods and information. These flows exist in each supply chain. Enterprise must have internal process integration and collaboration between functions, as well as alignment and integration across the supply chain. Customer information flows through the enterprise via orders, sales activity, and forecasts. Value-added flow of goods begins as products and materials are procured. Hey, what did you get from the video? That's interesting. There's a new word, I not and difference. Sup supply chains is a new word. Yes, this is actually a presentation of all the all the topics that we're going to be checking in the whole unit. So logistics, my friends, is amazing. It's very good. It's difficult because it's difficult. Uh, but it's, I mean, logistics is money. Some people, they don't look at that this way, but logistics is money. I mean, uh, imagine, imagine, I don't know, if you have a, a store and you are going to deliver the, the product, what, what are you going to do, right? So um, there are many things that are in this. The actually is the problem for the Canal de Panama, for the traffic, uh, very, very much traffic. For example, the the cross cross the the canal. My brother worked in the canal de Panama. Really? Yeah. It's, uh, take the pictures. It's, it's, it told me told me the problems. For no no, it's uh, it's difficult. 
across the canal in India, actually. Hey, Maya, I didn't know that. That is interesting. Yes. yes. Uh, any other opinion on the video? Any other thing that you got? Oh, we don't I'm sorry. Go ahead, Maria. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's um, interesting. Um, logistic is a uh, storage in different uh, in different place and different countries. Uh, it is it, a supply it's a supply uh, the the product uh, uh, for 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 storage is a. Uh, a different customers is a, eh, no sé cómo decir ahorro de y cost. I yeah, know, reduce the cost. Reduce the cost is a storage, is a logist, is a, a reduce transport, and reduce este inventory, inventory, is that justo a tiempo? Just in time. Important. It is is very important. It's very interesting. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Yes, just in time is one of the most uh, popular strategies for this kind of situation. Very good. Thank you. Any other comments? I, I think our logistics. It's complicated, but big companies is complicated. Or everything, um, countries, uh, distribution product is is logistic is complicated. That is true. It's true. I mean, it's very nice, but it's very complicated because it involves a lot of things. Uh, it's not only the way that you are going to move a product from the, the production factory to the, uh, I don't know, to the to the store. Imagine, for example, La Neveria. I mean, uh, to, to transport the ice cream, they need special vehicles, right? They need to move things in certain things. I mean, they are meant, and it's very expensive, right? Besides that one, they have to planify the routes, they have to check the inventory, uh, they have to do a lot of things. So it's not easy. For example, one of the most uh, popular businesses that people want to run here in El Salvador is food. Food is, is a very nice business. Uh, everybody knows that if you open a restaurant, a pizzeria, whatever, uh, it's a very good business. But in mind how to manage the inventory of those. I mean, you need to, for example, when you buy tomatoes, you need to calculate how many tomatoes are you, you are going to use for the sauce, right? And you have to calculate how much sauce uh, you need for the weekend. For Saturdays, that is very popular. How much uh, money you are going to invest in that one. And if you need a lot of sauce, what time you are going to start making, cooking the sauce, right? So everything is fresh and nice. I mean, it's a lot of things, only for the sauce, in mind for the rest of the things. I mean, and if you calculate the inventory and if you do some other things, I mean, yeah, it's complex. Yes, yeah. 10, 10 five, 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 yes, sir. Four, tomato. In mind. So depends. I mean, that depends on the quality of the sauce, depends on. Uh, a lot of things. So only only for a pizzeria, in mind a store that produces a lot of things, a computer or a car, or, I don't know. There are many things that are. So this is going to be a very interesting thing. So we're gonna uh, continue here with the class. Let me just go here. Okay, so. We're going to check a little bit about uh, expressions of certainty, okay? And here are some expressions that express either uncertainty or certainty, okay? So for uncertainty, 
we can say it's possible. So maybe, right? Or we can say it's impossible. That is not possible. When we say it's impossible, it's because we don't believe something is possible. It, uh, sometimes it's not possible, right? You mind that I say I will travel to uh, through time to the past, to the other module. That is impossible right now. I don't know if in the future it's going to be possible, right? It might be. It's another thing that we don't know. It might be. It might not be. It could happen. Yeah. It's, that is like it's possible. Yeah. I wouldn't like to say for certain. That is not that common, but it's another expression. I'm not sure. Mm, yeah. It's uncertainty. I doubt it. I have my own doubts, and it's doubtful. So for the certainty, we can say absolute. Absolutely is yes, of course. Of course it's going to happen. Or sure, that is very common, right? Sure, yeah, sure. Definitely. It's another word that we can use for certain. Um, of course, that is also very popular. Positive, eh, it's not that popular, but it's very common. So do you have any questions about these expressions of certainty? Do you know what is doubt? What says I doubt it? What is that? Dudo. Very good. Lo dudo. I doubt it. Nah, I don't think so. Okay. Very good. If we don't have any questions, we're going to continue. We are not going to stop here for a lot. And we have other uh, table with certainty and uncertainty. Some of those are uh, repeated, but some of them are new. So for certainty, we have, I am sure of it. Yeah, of course. I am certain about it. I have no doubt. I am 100% sure of it. I am undoubtful. I believe the vaccine will work well. So I believe. Absolutely, definitely. I am quite sure that there is no doubt about that. And bear. So when we use bear, we can use the Soviet must and bear. So I must bear. And that will be it. And for the other one, I am not sure that. I doubt it. I don't think so. I have doubts about that. I don't believe it. I am uncertain about that. It is possible. Maybe. Perhaps. Probably. I am doubtful. So there are, as I was telling you, I don't remember when I was telling you this. Uh, in English, or in any language, actually, you can express something in different ways. So sometimes we don't know how to say a specific word, but remember that. Remember that when you want to express something, there are many ways that you can say something. So you just have to look for synonyms or antonyms so you can express an idea. And this is a very good example of that. So there are many ways, I and mean, maybe the most common is sure, or um, I don't think so, but there are many expressions that we can use. So let's check a few questions. I am quite sure. What is quite in this one? It's not the same as quiet. Quiet is different. This is quiet. Okay, quiet. Uh, as the one that we have here is an adverb. So it's like when you say bastan, bastan of something. And the other question I have for you is perhaps. What is perhaps? Quizás. Quizás. Very good. There is a very famous song on that one. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. All right, so let's move on and let's continue sure, speaking teacher, about. Excuse me. Uh -huh. um, bear, body. Uh, 
subject plus must plus bear. What is what does it mean bear? Okay, very well. Anybody knows what is the meaning of uh, bear? So when you say something only bear, only bear is like very clear with no doubts, with like um when you are very truthful about something. So when you say, for example, uh that must bear, uh, you are saying that that is something that is real, that is true, that is uh, I don't know, something like that. That is for sure something that is happening. So that would be it. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, it's a good question. Okay, so we are going to continue and speaking about distribution process. <laughs> this is a very general distribution process. So yesterday we, was, we were speaking about distribution, distribution channel, and this is a distribution process. So we have at the top, the producer or the company that acquires rights. This is for a specific example, rights to uh, a film or story. So this is for you to making a movie, the process of the distribution process of a movie. So the first step is this. I mean, you know that in Hollywood, in, in any industry like that, exists a lot of, I, I, I don't know, thousands of millions of scripts. A lot of people, they write movies, but not all the movies are real. Not all the movies go to that one. So this is the first step. They acquire the rights for a film or story. So there is a story already. And the producer or the company, they get the rights of that script, of that film or story. The first question for you is acquire. What is acquire? Como adquirir. Adquirir, very good. And rights in this case? Derechos. 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 Very good. Derechos. Hay que el derecho de filmar la historia. Very good. So. The legal part is also part of the logistics. You need to be very careful about how you are going to distribute something. For example, remember that we were speaking about the Samsung TVs. I mean, they go, they go to uh, to the border, right? To people that check when they are, when they are in coming the products or services, right? So there are papers that they have to present to the authorities when they are going to introduce uh, the products into the country. So definitely legal part is something very important for any distribution process. We need to consider all those things. The second step says production finance and cast and crew confirmed. So production finance means that, okay, we are going to do make this movie. And it's going to cost, I don't know, $5 million. Where we are going to get the money. That is the second step. We need a company. We need people that put money into that. And then it says, uh, cast and crew confirms. Uh, what is cast? Como el elenco de los actores. Very good. So the people, in mind that you want Brad Pitt, right? And Eric Asensio for the movie. Ah, that is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you need to contact the, the actors and the actresses, not only the main characters, but for all the movie, right? And the other one says crew. What is crew? Okay, the crew in general are people that are like helping, moving things, putting things in the 
uh, in the position and things like that. For example, in a concert, the crew uh, for uh, the musicians uh, that are different from the musicians are the ones that put the lights, that set the scenario, that set the amplifiers. All those are the crew. The musicians, they don't do anything. They just go and play the music, right? But everything is set and assembled by the crew. The same happens with the movies. For the movies, we have people that are going to tell uh, where is going to be the house, what color is going to be this painting. Uh, there are marks on the floor, so the, the actor is going to stand up there in that position. So there are people that are involved in the creation of all the scenery and all the movie. And the actors, they just go and act. Right? That's what they do. So those are the crew. Good. The next one says screenplay developed by one or more writers. So what is screenplay? Es el guion de la película. Very good. That is, so this is very important because remember that at the beginning, for example, it's very common that in Hollywood, in Hollywood, we, uh, there are books that they transform into a movie, right? But the screenplay is totally different from the book. The idea is the same, but in the screenplay it says, Ramiro says this, Veronica says this, right? And the description is, the description is not the description of like in the book, I mean, in the book, sometimes they say it was a very gray afternoon. It was about to rain and the mountains. But in the screenplay it says, we're going to put a mountains picture and we're going to set uh, the, the sky gray. So the things that they are going to. So that is the screenplay. It's totally different. And it's developed by one or more writers. So there are people, you need to pay the writer. So they finish the screenplay. Then actually, uh, there are people that are going to review. Sometimes it's not the first screenplay that they use. They have 10 screenplays. So then you have to pay the writers to change things there. Okay, the other one, it says, uh, let's continue practicing for you. So Ramiro, can you please help me reading the next one? Yes, teacher. Principal photography takes place in a studies or a gridded location followed by months of post-production, ed editing and scoring. Very good. So this one says principal photography uh, takes place in studios or a grid locations. So this is the first part, okay? So we know who is going to be the actor, the actress, we know the screenplay, so there are people that, I mean, imagine that you are going to film uh, soldiers in a battle fighting with tanks. So yes. there are people that they go and look for a field that is similar to the, the screenplay, the description. They go and look many places and they choose one. So they take pictures as well. So they agree on the locations and then there are months of post-production, editing and scoring. So after you film the movie, uh, I mean, I don't know if you know that one, for example, but when you film a movie, you don't film the movie in order. Uh, the way that you look at the movie is totally different from the way they film the movie. Sometimes they film the ending of the movie first or when you die. Uh, and then at the end, they film the beginning of the movie. So. And then uh, whenever everything is filmed, the editors, the past production, they put everything together. The music, uh, some uh, uh, effects, uh, special effects, uh, filters, things like that. So it's a, this is a lot of work, a lot of work. Okay, and then let's go to the next one. Veronica, could you please help me with the next one? Yes, teacher, okay. Distributor develops release strategy. 
considers release date and takes deliver or master print of the finished film. Very good. So the next step, once you have the movie finished, uh, we need to find a strategy. The distributor that is not the same as the producer. The producer is the one that puts the money to film the movie. But the distributor is, there are companies to distribute this kind of movies, right? And they need to think about the strategy for releasing. Do you know what is release? Okay. What is release, anybody? Lanzamiento. Lanzamiento. So the release of the movie. So for example, for Halloween, for example, now that we comes Halloween, there is a special date when they release movies. In Christmas also. For the summer also. There are special dates when they release the movie. And those are strategies, right? Uh, so they consider the date for the release and the master print of the finished film. So that would be the next step. Um, Juan Roberto, is it possible for you to read? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, distributor presents the film to exhi exhibitors and negotiate bilateral agreements to show it in cinemas. So that is the next step in the distribution. So uh, the distributor that is not the same as the producer, as we say, presents the film to exhibitors. So there are special projections of the movie for companies, for representatives of the company. And once they see the movie, they decide. They decide how many days is going to be the movie film, what will be the schedules, and things like that. So, uh, this is the next step. In this. So, okay. the way they are going to show in the cinemas. Uh, let's see who's next. Uh, Oseas, could you please help me with the next? What is the teacher? Distributors marketing. Okay, distributors marketing campaign aims to create a uh, want to see bus among target audience and launches film. Very good. That is the next step for the distribution. So the distributors marketing, this is marketing, definitely. Campaign, do you know what is campaign? Campaña. Very good. Aims. What is aims? Objetivos. Very good. To create, want to see. So they want to create. Okay, buzz. Buzz is like, like, uh, how can I say that? Buzz is like the feeling. They want to create a feeling in the people so they can go and watch the movie. And they do that with the trailers, right? with uh, posters in the city. Come and see the latest movie of, I don't know, James Bond or whatever. Uh, and then they set a date for they to launch the film. So, uh, and there are many strategies. I remember that one of the first movies that launched a movie at the very same time, the very same day around the world was Matrix. Uh, that was a very interesting campaign because they want people to come and see the movie. They didn't say anything about the movie. So they just launched Matrix. Matrix is going to be a very good movie. And they launched the movie the very same day around the world. So that was a very nice strategy. Right? So, Okay, uh, Sandra Gomez, could you please help me reading the next one? Yes, teacher. Here brings this, this including the DB of FC certificate are delivered to cinema a few days before opening. So that is the next step. Uh, the film prints are this. The film prints are the posters, right? And the film disc, uh, these are like some samples or some trailers that they send to 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 companies 
So, or in YouTube, for example, nowadays it's very popular to see the trailers of the movies. So that will be. And then uh, include the BB or FC. Those are certificates. So depending on what kind of uh, theaters you are going to present the movie. So that is like legal thing again. And are delivered, uh, yeah, they send the movie to the cinema. So that is part of the distribution, right? They send like, in the past it was like a roll. Now it's like a CD that they, they send. Uh, Roberto Carlos, do you please help me with the next one? Sorry, only that I lose with the text. The, par okay. the paragraph. Yeah, the one that you need to read. Communicate? Yeah, films run extends. Okay. The films run extended any number of weeks subject to them, which may be argumented by additional markets. Very good. So then when they distribute the movie, uh, they start showing them. And they plan the most, uh, most common is three or four weeks. They plan the movie for four weeks. But if the people, they really want to watch the movie, they can do that more weeks. I remember, for example, for Spider-Man, uh, No Way Home, uh, at that time, everybody wanted to see that movie. So I remember that I went to the movie theater. It was full, and all the all the movie uh, salons they were projecting the same. Movie. Everybody were making that. One. So and they extended that few more. So it was very interesting. Okay, and the last one, Blanca. Uh, will you please have me read them the last one? Following what's wrong in cinema. Cinemas, cinemas. The film is released in su subsequent windows. Home Entertainment TV and quickly becomes a catalog leader. Okay, so this is the last part of the distribution of a book. So this happens sometimes months after the release of the movie. Uh, so the last part is that they send, they release the movie. Uh, nowadays it is in flat. Right? Uh, in the past it was in, in VHS or in DVD. So you can go and rent the movie or buy the movie. Now you can buy the movie, but the most common is that they launch that into uh, Netflix or HBO or any of this platform and the last one is the okay so there, there are jobs I, I know that you know this job from. you are going to see a movie in channel six six uh, years after the movie was released so it's a long time it's a long time for they for they to get the rights of the movie because it's cheaper uh, for them to pay for the rights okay so this is a distribution process example. And this specific one is for is for uh, movies, movies in general. So there are products that might be more difficult or the processes, and there are companies or products that might be less difficult, depending on what you want to sell. So for example, if you have a delivery of proposal, that is very easy, right? You make the proposals, the delivery comes, takes the order, they look where is going to be the delivery, they deliver that one and they guess the money. So that is it. It's not that difficult. But there are other distribution processes that might be much more difficult. Do you have any questions here, my friends? Yes, teacher, excuse me, in the last, no, the, the we'd say B-B-O-F-F-F-C, what, what means? Yeah, those are certifications for the movie. So remember that in the United States, in, in the most of the countries, they evaluate. So to check for first of all, what will be the rate of the movie? So it could be, uh, PG-13, it could be PG-18, 
or uh, uh, X rated, something like that one. And once it's certificated, they know, they decide what is going to be the launch of this. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good, any other question, my friends? Okay, so let's let's practice a little bit. Ah, but we, I have another example, so we can check it out. Um, no, we're not gonna do that first. Okay, so we're going to uh, we're going to practice and and check how it's gonna be. Um, there are just a few of you, but I believe that we can work. So uh, you are going to work in pairs, and you are going to think about a distribution process. Uh, for any company, for any product. So I'm going to give you a, a few minutes for you to do it. You are going to be in the breakout rooms uh, and then you are going to come and tell us what is the process that you created. You can create something for any product, okay? But it's the process like that. It's the distribution process from the production of the, process, of the product to uh, when you uh, or the customers can buy the product or uh, it could be a service as well, not only a product, okay? Do you have any questions about this? Okay, if you don't have questions, just remember that we're going to discuss about this and we're going to go like in order, right? So you are going to say this is the first step or maybe describe the product first. We're going to describe our product is this one, so, and then we're going to start with the first step that is like uh, hiring a delivery company because it's not just the delivery. You need to investigate. You need to investigate about what kind of delivery is the best for your product. So as we were discussing, uh, for example, in La Neveria, right? The ice cream, they need a special, a special transportation vehicle and they need also uh, conditions people that are trained to manage all these things. So in the distribution process that you are going to create with the partner, you are going to discuss about these specific things. So think very well about the product or service that you are going to create the distribution process. And then uh, just write it down a little bit and then you are going to tell the class uh, what is this distribution process. Do you have any questions on this? Yes, it's only for the distribution, the 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 chain, distribution chain. Yeah, it's just the distribution, not the production of the product. So only the distribution. Okay, thank you. Very well. Any other question? Uh, oh. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, you have to do the process, the distribution for activities in uh, whatever uh, company. Yeah, any company. Yeah. yeah. So you decide with your partner what company or what product you are going to work. Okay. Good. Let's make it that. Here we go.
respond the page number okay. 11. We, we have a teacher right now in the teacher. Hello. We have a question. Go ahead. Teacher, can I share my screen? Uh, yes, let me just check if it's possible here. Okay, now you can. Let me see. Okay, thank you. So all of you are agreed to, to choose uh, cell phones, for example, because we can choose another, another.
we don't have enough time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I thought that it was a lot of time. So I, I know that it was a long process, but this is just the first activity, so no worries. Okay. Okay, so, uh, or I don't know if you, do you need more time? I don't know, I can give you more time if you want. Depends on for the class. I think that is a, a little more time. Do you need more time? Yeah. Okay. Five yes, minutes, please. Okay. I'm going to send it to the rooms right now. No worries.
Not in on order. Okay, teacher. The room four is ready. Very good. So let's wait for the rest of the people to join and let's start. Okay, we wait. Thank you. They're coming. Okay, my friends, let's check what you have done. So the room number one was Maria Julia, Monica Avalos, and Veronica Elizabeth. So the microphone is yours. Okay, thank you. Vamos a compartir pantalla, teacher, ahorita. Okay. María Julia, ¿me va a ayudar? All right. Hello, and uh, we talk about legal service. And the first step, step uh, is promotion by other clients and give appointment to any interesting to need an accessory listen to the legal problem and request for evidence documents. Uh, this, the, the set fees is uh, the, the lawyers give a, a short talk about the why working and the goals, uh, so fees uh, that the client now about time, time the, for service the, is the prepare complaint is a uh, is a conduct uh, the investigation in the different different institution to the gather the argument to the the lawsuit or to the prepare complaint uh, depending on the case is is demand or is a. Uh, is a is a escritura dependent the case uh, present document to to court is a is a um, in the last in the last prepare prepare to complete complete is a present document uh, a court or different institution legal okay to make sure then uh, the process is go to the hearing to the uh, uh, court or with the judge uh, to speech the complaint then, win the case, or, oh, well, I hope, I hope win the case. And the final collection, final of the payment, when we win the, or we finally the, the process, the demand or complaint. Okay. Very good. Very we good. we uh, resolve the problem. Uh -huh. uh, you have the other. Oh. Okay, very good, very interesting. So, uh, yes, you can see that you can make a process for everything. Right? So this is a very good example. Very nice, thank you. Uh, the next group was Jonathan, Jose Alfredo, Juan Roberto, and Oscar Rene.
Okay. I I compared the uh, the screen. You can see my picture? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, and some products and the uh, product in port uh, logistic former distribution products. And distribution, the supply chain receives the containers at the port of Acajutla. These are uh, sub subsequently uh, unloaded and taken to a storage warehouse. Okay. <laughs> We are, yes, thank you, my friend. We are going to mention a little about distribution of the famous and delicious drink, Johnny Walker. First, uh, we look uh, for a surprise that meets or demand for the wonderful drink. Uh, then we distrib distribute to the closest uh, winners winners or those that no lo no longer have this wonderful dream so that it can be ten and sent it to the supermarket since it is a hindered prestigious company. There are distribution channels so that the excellence product reach as the customer intact. Finish. Finish. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Very nice. Perfect. Thank you. Continue. Ah. Continue. Okay. My okay. presentation <laughs> finished. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Walmart sells his products through Operadora del Sur Society. And uh, that has a distribution center in the Japa, San Salvador, to supply his goods. In this case, home appliances for all Salvador departments where are a Walmart supermarket like Santa Ana, San Salvador, La Libertad, and San Miguel. Hey, well, that's all. Thank you. Okay, very good. Actually, this one is very interesting. I mean, that's exactly what happens, right? They have a distribution center and then they distribute to the, all, the whole the country. Uh, we're going to discuss up a little bit more about that one. Later. Very good, very nice, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Give me a Good. So now uh, the next one are Blanca Tunaca Oseas and Ramiro Rafael. Okay. Okay, you start, Ramiro. Uh, okay, uh, dear uh, classmate, uh, we, ta uh, we talk uh, about uh, we were we want the uh, are going to talk about how cell phones uh, are produced. Um, uh, it, it is a very interesting process. The process uh, that a cell phone has to go through to reach. Uh, your hands begins among the various uh, stage uh, uh, for a cell phone to reach uh, the hands of the uh, end user are many quality control tests uh, that uh, exceeds uh, a, 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 the, the 100 uh, 800,000 repetition and make it uh, it go through laboratory test uh, uh, 
such as analyzing the component and finish the product uh, for delivery. Uh, thank you. Okay, as my friend Ramiro said, um, we decided to choose uh, the smartphone as the product to analyze. And we don't know the process to create a, a smartphone, but I think everybody knows um, the different distribution channel that companies who create smartphone use. So, um, however, there are certain steps that every cell phone must follow, such as the conceptual and electronic phase in which the design and parts of the device are defined and in addition, the different physical physical units that will make it up, such as print the circuit that controls the alphanumeric keyboard, battery, screen, hardware and software, among others. So now continue my friend, Blanca. Okay, I continue the speaking the, the cell phone. Beyond the initial passes, uh, the device must also the throw a quality control stage. For example, Honor, the Huawei Subran that arrived in the country about years ago, uh, revalue the number of tests that the device has to throw to satisfy customer needs and delivers added value in your phone, uh, your smartphone, for example, um, maintain current interest in the Samsung brand, um, benchmark in the technology, technological innovation, innovation, and announce new release, the improvements. Thank you, teacher. Very good, That's thank you, teacher. Perfect, it was a very nice example. Very good, thank you very much. And the last one, Aida, Isabel, Roberto Carlos, and Sandra Gomez. Okay, teacher, I'm going to share sorry. this. Okay. Sorry, sorry, continue, Aida. Yes, yes. Okay, can you see the screen? Uh, it's coming, it's coming. Not yet, but I see that it's coming. Oh. And now I can see. Right okay. Uh, okay, this is our group. Uh, we choose the company Huevos Catalana. Uh, the slide the, was, uh, no, where may, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, my team is uh, Sandra, Robert, and me, okay? Uh, Robert, go ahead. Hey, thank you. Let me see, please. Okay, uh, that is uh, what has a uh, uh, farm, Catalana, is for the producer of eggs. And Grand has Catalana is a chain of farm producing quality eggs. With more than 16 years that work in with that work uh, with passion. It has a present throughout, throughout the national territory in, store, in stores and supermarkets of the Republic and is some central Central American countries. And the philosophy is with else the life is better. Is that not this uh, right, but but this is the philosophy. Okay, next, please. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, the solution is carried out in the following way: the X levels the parts classified as small, medium, and large. The rubber rubber is planted and sent to its destination. In the case of egg, a special transport is used. 
Then it is left in the supermarket advertise store to reach the end customer. An organizational chart was made to explain the, log the logistics. Oh, I don't no. know. My, my driving is, I don't know, it's this funny. It's very good. It's very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's flying to the park. And transportation special, um, supermarket, and local shop. In a finish, it's consumer. Consumer. Okay. Next. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to explain how distribute the product. In this case, the eggs. As um, Sandra has mentioned, with this kind of factory. Uh, use different transportation but in this case uh, usually uh, for truck in in most of the case and in some case they use um, airplane but in this part there is important the the weather because um, the climate condition not keep up optimal to maintain uh, the um, the correct temper temperature uh, to the eggs, okay? In order to deliver a good product to the customer, okay? That's all. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> very good, very nice. Okay. Thank you very much. And it was very interesting, yes, you. about distribution and all these things. Nice, my friend. So now we have an idea on distribution process. Of course, we're going to continue tomorrow with other parts of things and uh, other things that we have to that one. And uh, this was the class for tonight. So we're going to check the attendance, but before that one, uh, do you have any questions for the class? For me, no question. Sure, thank you. Very good, perfect. So let's check the attendance. Then. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonisha. I'm here. Good. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Present. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. Jose Alfredo Hueso Lopez. Present, teacher, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. I'm here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Osea Figueroa Cisneros. Present teacher. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Present teacher, sorry, ahí. Estaba ah, okay. Aquí. No problem, Present. that's fine. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here, teacher. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, chair. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dream in English. Good night. Thank you. Thank you all. Good night. Good night. Hello, Jonathan. Good night, teacher. How are you? A little bit tired, but yeah. I'm going to sleep right now. <laughs> okay. Have a good night then. Okay. Good night.